Hi YouTube, this is Tim Munkert from HTMLTim.com. In this video, I want to talk about my seven most favorite dark syntax themes for the Pulsar text editor. I've got an HTML file open. It's actually the index.html file for my website, HTMLTim.com. And the theme that I'm going to start with here is the oceanic dark theme. This theme has, uh, you know, a dark bluish background, has some vibrant reds here, some purples and greens, and it just looks beautiful. It's a great theme out of the box. The other thing you'll notice is you really don't have to install any highlight line package. I have another video on that um, because this theme actually highlights the current line very, very well. Okay, so that's oceanic dark. Our next theme that I'm going to cover is Tomorrow Night 80s. The Tomorrow Night 80s theme, this is kind of similar to One Dark in a way. Uh, it has more muted um, reds here, some oranges and some greens. Also a very beautiful theme. Uh, I think very clear uh, and crisp and yeah, it looks great. Uh, the highlighting of the current line is a little bit less, but you can still see it. Um, but again, there is that highlight line package if you want a more pronounced highlighting of the current line. Okay, so the next theme up is going to be the Adam Sublime Monokai theme. Okay, this one is a theme that pops out at you, and it does look like Sublime Text's Monokai theme. Uh, we have vibrant pinks, greens, and yellows here, and some good high contrast. So for people who want a really high contrast theme, this is an excellent theme. It's, I think it's beautiful. Also, um, yeah, and it looks great in an HTML document. So that's Adam's Sublime Monokai. Next up is the Adam Material Dark theme. Now the Atom Material Dark theme here, this is a beautiful theme with a dark background. In terms of the current line here, if I go here, you can see it gets a little bit darker, but you may want to try the highlight line package and see how it works out with this theme. We've got a vibrant pink here for the dock type, some reds, oranges, and greens, and a very, very beautiful theme. This is, this is one of my absolute all-time favorites. And that is Atom Material Dark. Next up is just Atom Material. Okay, and this theme is fairly similar, except with more of a uh, light blue background. Again, you've got the similar reds, oranges, and greens, along with the dock type. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful theme. Again, the highlighting of the current line is a little darker. Maybe you can see it a little bit better on this theme than the dark theme because the dark theme is just pretty much of a dark background, but it, it does highlight the, the current line fairly well. But again, you could always try the highlight line uh, package if you wanted a little bit more pronounced effect. But all in all, this is a great, beautiful theme. Next up is GitHub Atom Dark. Okay, this is a dark theme similar to GitHub's dark theme. And I've always liked that. It has some nice greens, purples, and blues here. Uh, the highlighting of the current line is very pronounced. I don't think you need to install any additional packages here. So you know what line you're on. Um, it allows you to quickly navigate the code and get the job done. And I think you could spend a lot of time in this theme. The final theme I want to talk about is the Nord Atom theme. Okay, this one has a dark blue background and it's a little bit less contrasty, if that's a word, which it isn't, uh, but it contrasts a little bit less than some of the other themes. Uh, it does highlight the current line. One thing that's interesting that you notice about this theme is when I click on this line, it highlights the opening head tag and also the closing head tag. So, for instance, if I go down here and click on this line, Look, we have the opening nav tag and the closing nav tag. So it points those out to you more so than the other themes. Um, and it doesn't really pop in your face. It just puts you in a nice mood for coding, 
a long time in the editor. Uh, yeah, so that's my seven favorite themes for the Pulsar Text Editor. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want more videos on the Pulsar Text Editor, my channel has a lot of videos on this Pulsar Text Editor. So perhaps consider subscribing. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.